Hey guys, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Yes, I look exactly the same in the same clothes. Three videos filmed in one day. I'm all proud of myself. Uh, this time I'm going to do another deconstructed bloom um, on a uh, 14 by 18 Winsor Newton canvas. I think that's the size. Uh, and omit some of the colors and get something, um, I don't want to use the word traditional, but something that would definitely go in the home um, of more people than like a modern art piece. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to do one where uh, it could fit into a variety of home decor styles, I guess. So let's see how that goes. Let me get you down. Okay, looking good. <laughs> this is, I just feel like uh, I'm just really, really in the mood to paint. You guys ever get that way? Like, you just can't stop. I'm having one of those days um, where I just want to paint, paint, paint. So, let's deconstruct this one. This is a 14 by 18. Um, so, shorter and wider than the 12 by 24. Uh, and I have eliminated the Dairy Lead Yellow from the last video. Um, so just as a recap, my colors are, um, this is a primary element pigment from the Putting on the Glitz collection called Be Mine, which I'm just in love with. So there's that one. And then another one, a green shade, same collection called Splendor in the Grass. And then I'm pairing those two with some uh, Utrecht Fluid Acrylic. And what kind of orange is this? Um, the Perignon Orange. And then I swapped out the Dairy Lead Yellow that I used in the last video for some just golden iridescent gold. So that's the palette. Black Cell Activator, same deal. Blow out some puddles, see what they look like. <laughs> I don't know why we see what they do. <coughs> excuse me, why what they look like because I end up just you know wrecking them completely. But maybe one of these days I'll have like the perfect bloom and just leave it or like get out the spinner and spin it out. Um, I haven't done proper blooms in a long time. Kind of do. Having the poor spinner in a rubber tub or downstairs getting dusty. No, not you, Dusty. My dog looked up. <laughs> He's like, who, me? All right, let's start off. I do have a little bit from two videos ago, a Payne's Gray. Maybe we just set the colors on the Payne's Gray. This is a Atelier's Payne's Gray. All in there. Hey, Dusty. My dog is officially old. I worry about him. All right, there's the Payne's Gray. And then let's do, hmm. I want this near the top, I just love it so much. Let's do, the green. Big healthy dollops, orange. The gold. Make sure the 
This is really stirred up. Be mine. And we'll do one, and I'm gonna do, uh, try to be careful and not do, last time I did messy, sort of messy blowouts. This time I'm gonna try and be a little more deliberate. I'm gonna throw on some more house paint. I don't know why I don't do that right from the get-go. Because I want the, uh, I don't want any sort of blowout from the hair dryer to land on dry canvas. There we go. All right. Golden, carbon black, cell activator. It's like three and a half to one, not quite four, but not three either with my Australian flow trial. Yeah, it, it makes a halo, but not as quick as the four to one ratio. All right, so low fan, cool air. a wimpy blowout in my opinion. I love stuff like that. Sorry. I love that stuff. You get the wispy lines. Uh, I guess I need to give a puff right there because it's collecting already, but there's still a bit of uh, black. Try not to put my apron into the paint this time. Kind of deep right there. Didn't really want to sew up. I might have to crash right into that. All right, number two. You know what, guys? I really don't like those colors. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. It's really not all that pretty. The, uh, yeah. I don't like that at all. 
It's just not pretty. I can hear somebody out there in YouTube land yelling out in exasperation. You're never happy. <laughs> I'm gonna change up the order. I might be skipping the orange. Yeah, I think I'm going with just three colors. And I'm going to make my cell activator a true four to one. Uh, where is it? Because I made up a fresh box. I'm going to put another healthy squirt in there. So it should be super thin. Yeah, I just didn't like, uh, it's the layering of that color combo. And I didn't like the orange um, with the gold. So, bye-bye orange. Okay. million times better. I might leave that black. It's probably going to puddle right there, but I'm not going to puff on that. I am going to push the paint out because I really like the, uh, the white areas a lot. A lot, a lot. Hi, Fan. Sorry about that. I changed my mind. So when I'm doing that, just so you know, if you don't see the hair dryer, I am, here's the thing, the hair dryer is a good 18 inches from the canvas, especially when I have it on high fan, like I really keep it back. Um, you get better direction, and if the puddle is, is here, the black, I'm always aiming for the edge that's closest to me, always, because if I try to land in the middle, um, then I only take half of it. I always take the, the near edge and try to push it out. Uh, I, if I could just leave this just like this, I would. I don't know if I really want to tilt all to hell on this guy. Um, and here's what's making me happy is because I just went right on top of the other's pud puddles. I do have like the hints of orange, which now look better because I have um, better colors on top. But we're just hanging out. Um, I don't like this black right here. Hopefully tilt some of that off. Um, got enough paint to get here and on my edges. 
I think I'll put a dollop right here just to help the, that black to go right here. Nothing crazy. This will probably roll off there and everywhere else. It looks fairly collected. I think I've waited long enough. Um, it's, I think it's really pretty. That's what I think. But I do think it'll benefit from some stretching just because like a, like a good photographer doesn't want a lot of noise uh, in his picture, I don't want a lot of noise. Like there's a lot of like extraneous little things going on all around that's taken away from like the two main uh, areas that are really, really pretty. So I don't think I'm going to deconstruct this one all the way. We're gonna try and leave parts of it intact. So as usual, See how everything's moving nicely? That's great. So we're gonna go slow, slow this time. Cause I don't, I don't plan on like scrunching things. When I'm gonna scrunch up the cells, then I can just kind of go for it and not um, wait. But this, I really don't want to scrunch. If that makes any sense. I'm gonna go there. See how I kept all that middle section together? This won't look like a bloom, but it, um, it'll definitely keep the center. I'm going back because I want a little more off. And have that come down the side. Oh, that's pretty. And now, let me stop. So I've got the whew. I'd like to take this off, roll this off here, take some of this noise off, and a little bit of this noise. I like to keep this white if I can. I see the vision, sorta, of, kinda. So, where's the weight of the paint? There. I'm gonna try. I'm just gonna wiggle off my way for a second. See things? I have to stretch that out. I'm gonna go for it. <sighs> so you feel like it's still too busy in the middle. I might have to stretch it out after all. Dang it. You know what this one could have benefited from? If I'd been like clever and thought of it like five minutes ago is I should have um, spun this one out. That's what I should have done. All right, so just want to point out some things. Still have this one corner to get to. I do like this whole fan thing going on. This is just really amazing, really amazing. Um, I'm gonna take off just this little part right here. I still like my little blank area of negative space. I might come up here and take off I might, um, some of this black. I'm undecided. Or I might be, that's like super picky. Looking at my stretch marks, which is the areas, you know, diving off the edge of the canvas on both sides. This side is great. This side looks stretched. It's not broken or anything, but you can tell that everything is over on my left and um, it needs to come back to the center a little bit. So let's get rid of this thing though because it's, it's just bugging me. So I'm going to swing down there for just a second. That should be fairly easy. Yep. And bring it back up. and then come over my way a bit because I still need to get to this one corner. 
So we're going to swing over there. Good. You can do it. Doesn't want to go to that corner. It goes. If we go. And then bring everything back. I'm trying to save that one line of negative space. Which I don't know if I'm going to do. Nah, I kind of lost a little bit of it. Since the weight of my paint right now is, oops, right, don't splurge on your art, is all like right here. I am going to try and get rid of just a little bit of that darkness. And then we'll talk about the other darkness. So one I might have to live with, the other one I do not. So off that goes. A little more so it doesn't come back up. And then bring it down and stretch it out. It still came back a, um, a little bit, but it's much, much better. And now I feel like um, my stretch marks are even. Let me stop and stare at this. Oh my gosh, I love this one too. <gasps> I feel like I'm two for two. I'm not um, counting the um, the uh, commission piece I did earlier, like two videos ago, because I didn't get to choose the colors. Um, but between this one and the last one, I am like thrilled, thrilled to bits. Let me stare. It doesn't ruin it and it's not enough for me to like futz with this painting anymore is this, it looks black, but it's um, black with the gold on top of it. And so it has a gold shimmer and if it dries with the gold shimmer, I'll be really happy. In order for me to like remove that, I would have to, I would lose all of this cool stuff here. I would, this would all move. I'm trying to think it through. This would all swing. I would lose some of my swoop would really be swoopy. I'd have even bigger stretch marks than I do now. And just let me stare at this. I'm gonna ponder it for a couple minutes. I'm gonna walk away and come back and see it with fresh eyes. Yep, I'll be back. Okay, sorry for the juggle, I'm just gonna fix you. There we go. So I walked away and came back and this bothers me. It's like my eye goes right to it and not in a good way. So I've been standing here staring at it like, what do I do about it? And as I said earlier, if I tilt, I'm gonna change the whole look of it. Um, and I would have to tilt toward me. And I'm gonna lose a part of this. This might stretch out kind of nice. And I think this will be fine too. But before I do that, I think what I'm gonna try and do is squish it in first and see if that works. If that doesn't work, then I'll tilt. So um, two minutes ago, I was talking like I had a little bit of negative space running through here. And then when I tilted, I lost it and this is all that's remaining. So I'm just gonna take my white house paint and run it right through here like this just so that I have paint and then take my and then I'm going to squish this that's the plan stand right through here and maybe a little further grab the black part of it and just kind of squish it so it's smaller and then pull it out 
ever so slowly, bring the black line all the way across. Did I squish it enough? No. Maybe we operate on it. Now we're gonna squish it some more. And what I'm doing is lifting up with my stick. Do you see all the white underneath of it? That's excellent because I can fill in the gap with it. And I'm just taking my stick. It's barely touching the paint right now. It has the black line on the side of it. I'm just pulling that all the way across. So, um, make sure the edge of my stick is clean. It kind of worked out. I just don't know if I want that big of a white space. <laughs> There's always something. That worked out really well though. I'm kind of proud of myself for that little operation right there. I'm just staring at it. I'm ignoring the white. I'm just looking at the uh, area I operated on to see if it's narrow enough or if I tilt now It'll come out long and skinny right there. So I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I was really, really happy with the composition. I was. All right. Sometimes it's, it was, you know, it, it's not like a bikini corner where I could have just ignored it and left it. That was, it was too much um, of an eyesore in the middle. So... We're just gonna wiggle, make it hopefully smaller, and take some of it off. Seems like I have enough paint too, so. Goodbye, little eyesore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little more, a little more, a little more. And then a little more. We'll leave a little white. And let's take it back. Take it back and down. Fix our stretch marks. I might actually even go the other way for a second. Yep, I am. Huh. Not a lot though, just a little. Just to lose some more paint. I don't think I've hurt. The composition definitely changed. Um, but hopefully for the better. Hey, you. Get up there. Let me stare at it now. Oh yeah, it just it's just calmer looking. Before when it was so dramatic, do you remember? This is much, much calmer looking because it's got nice calm areas to look at. Uh, yay, super happy, ta-da, done, don't touch it. Really, really happy. Um, it's not as quirky as the last one. Um, I don't want to say it's traditional, but I guess in a way it is more traditional looking than, than the other one was just uh, Funk City. But this is super pretty. Let me get you guys down. Okay, I think this is the prettiest of the three I filmed today. Um, I just took a second and like, see, where's my finger? I can't, there it is. Right here, I ended up tilting just a little bit more to pour off some of that black shadow so now like if you look at the edge there's there's it's just about gone and then i just moved things back up so it really didn't change or hurt anything um the gold is everywhere here the soft gold is everywhere um and it really complements that green and blue shade so that's the bottom 
very dramatic. And then it gets quiet up in here in the middle. I love that whole section there that ended up getting stretched out. There's the remnants right over here from what we had to lose. It's kind of swoopy and, and pretty in the middle. Um, I can't wait to show you this dry because that gold everywhere is just going to be gorgeous. And then here's the drama at the top right there. And then let me turn. Don't drop your phone. And that's what it looks like. Ta-da! Hold on. Hey guys, I'm back with the dried results. Here it be. It's super, super pretty. Um, I think I said earlier in the video that I'd like this one more than the one from the last video. And this one speaks to me more. It's still true, but the other one is definitely the better painting. Not better. It's just, I have it here. It just has more drama uh, in the composition. Two different looks, I feel. Let me come way back. Right? Uh, this one is sold. Um, that one will get resin as well. And then I'll do this guy here just to bring out all those greens and golds. And then real quick, I did one um, because I'm so taken with that color combo. I did another one um, off camera and I used too much cell activator. And what happened is it made really big, bold lines everywhere. So it's quite graphic looking. So another completely different look from a deconstructed bloom. Um, so I really love this one too. It looks like like little ponds. It reminds me of like ponds and lily pads, like this feature here and then down here. Like it's all, whatever this is, is falling into this little pool right here. Um, also very cool. This is 12 by 24. Um, those two will go up on my web shop at waterfallacrylics.com for sale. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all take care. Please like, share, and subscribe if I didn't say it before. Peace out, y'all.